Hello, my name is Jamie Tubbs, and I'm the Director of Training at Magnet Forensics. I'd like to take a brief moment or two to walk you through keyword searching in Axiom and making sure that you include Unicode settings where appropriate. We'll start by creating a new case. We're going to add our case number. In this case, it doesn't actually have to be a case number, so I'm going to use keywords. I'm also going to choose my case type and the case type I'm going to choose is randomly major crimes. I'm then going to change the default folder names for the location for the case files as well as the location for the acquired evidence. Now type in the description and the scan information for scan 1. I can choose the next part of the workflow, Evidence Sources, by clicking in the bottom right hand corner, Go to Evidence Sources. Or you can choose to work on the list on the left hand side. Right under Case Details is the next object which is Evidence Sources. Both will lead to your ability to add different evidence files from different evidence sources. In this case, my evidence source is a computer hard drive, so I'm going to select Computer. Since it's already been acquired for me, I'm going to choose Load Evidence instead of Acquire Evidence. The next option I'm going to choose is Image, since it was an EO1 file, an evidence file image. A browse window will automatically pop up, and as a result of that, I'll browse to my evidence files, choose it, and hit Open. Now that I've successfully added my evidence, the next step is for me to choose Go to Processing Details. Again, I can do this in the bottom right hand corner, or I can do this in the list on the left hand side. Following the workflow after evidence sources is Processing Details. The first option under Processing Details is adding keywords to the search, which is the primary subject of this video. As you can see under Keyword Search Types, there are two options. One is Artifacts, and one is All Content. Let's first discuss Artifacts. An artifact keyword search is a keyword search against just the artifacts pulled out into the artifact categories after Axiom is completed searching through, carving, and parsing for all known artifacts. An all content search is a search that is done across the entire drive, including artifacts, unallocated clusters, Slack space, MFT records, everything. When you're doing a search against artifacts, artifacts only, you won't get the option to search for Unicode because the data is normalized. However, doing an all content search, you can choose the encoding you wish to use to search for your keywords. In this section, I choose the encoding dropdown. This will allow me to select which one of the options I want to apply to my keywords. As you can see, both the ASCII and the UTF-16, also known as Unicode, options are already selected. I previously used this keyword in a case, and when I did so, it remembers it for future cases. Now I can delete this entire keyword list by choosing the trash can at the end after the number of records. It's currently not shown, but if you hover over that area, a trash can will show up and you can delete it. Not what I'm covering here, but I just wanted to make sure we talked about it. If I wish to apply this keyword list, all I have to do is select the enable box at the front of the keyword list. If I don't have a keyword list and I want to add just individual keywords, I can do so in the Add Keyword section underneath Keyword Lists. I'm going to add two keywords, Nick and Day, which I know for sure are both in Unicode and in ASCII on the system that I'm choosing to search. Don't forget to choose the encoding dropdown next to the keyword you just added prior to choosing Add and then you can change it to UTF-16. My suggestion to you is that you always choose UTF-16 and ASCII. I can't think of a, a time when UTF and ASCII couldn't be chosen together because Unicode is a common storage method used by Microsoft in a lot of their products.
since this quick video is just about keywords, I'm going to skip the rest of the workflow at, under processing details, all the way including not showing you computer artifacts. It's not that I'm not trying to show you, it's just that's not what this video is about. When my case is processing, I always like to open up thread details just to see exactly what's happening in the case processing. Now that my processing is complete and you see search complete on the processing screen, I can choose close which will automatically bring up Axiom Examine. Now that I'm in Axiom Examine, in the Dashboard Explorer, what I can choose is, on the right hand side under Keyword Matches, just choose one of my keywords. In this case, I'm going to choose the keyword Day. It will filter out everything in the examination that doesn't have anything to do with the keyword Day. Now I'm just going to scroll down until I can find the Unicode uh, keyword results as well as the ASCII keyword results on the same screen to show them to you to make it easier. Before I scroll down, I forgot to mention that all keyword searches with all content, once you're in Axiom Examine, will be found under Keyword Snippets. I arbitrarily picked a keyword in ASCII, and I'm going to draw a square around it in blue. Now I'm going to find a keyword result in Unicode, and I'm going to draw a square around it in red. If you did not choose ASCII and Unicode as part of your keyword encoding when you chose the keywords to search for, you would not be seeing both of these results, which means you might be missing evidence. The importance of choosing ASCII and Unicode should be apparent, and I hope you've learned something by this short video. For more information on any training opportunities, please visit www.magnetforensics.com forward slash digital forensics training forward slash courses. And thank you again.